Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning English. This is Blair. Morning, guys. This is Lily. 欢迎大家收听早安英文。Hey, Lily, 这是怎么啦？扭来扭去的。<laughs> Are you uncomfortable sitting in this chair? 没有，我中午吃饭吃太多了，真的慌了。<laughs> so what did you have for lunch? I had burgers and fries. 但我一个人凑不满起送嘛，所以我点了个双人餐，结果全吃掉了。<laughs> 你这最近点外卖点的有点频繁啊，都不自己做饭了吗？呃、uh, ，没时间嘛，而且外卖确实是很方便啊。It saved me so much work and time. 嗯，确实啊，感觉现在的都市丽人都离不开外卖了。<laughs> 没错，那今天哎，我们就来聊一聊外卖，用英文要怎么表达？顺便啊，来讲一讲点餐时候要用到的一些使用表达。Great, that would be super useful. 嗯，欢迎大家点赞、订阅我们，并且打开小铃铛，这样就可以第一时间收到我们的更新提醒啦。另外，本节课的笔记也给大家准备好了，在视频简介或评论区即可领取哦。那首先解决一下我们刚刚一直在聊的外卖啊，嗯、我们说的外卖其实就是你不需要到店，而是通过网上预约啊或者电话的方式，要求店家把食物送到指定的位置来用餐。Right. So if we want the food to be delivered to our home or another location, we can use the word delivery. This means that we don't have to go to the restaurant ourselves. 嗯，这个 delivery 其实就是等同于快递啊、配送等等。嗯，英国的一家外卖 app 的名字就叫 Deliveroo。嗯，那我们现在点外卖一般都是在外卖软件上直接点嘛。嗯，但是呢，也有一些比较傲娇的店家啊，直接收电话预订的。那我们可以怎么打电话来订餐呢？来，丽丽给我们演示一下吧。Well, you can say hello. I like to place an order for delivery.、Mm-hmm. 你好，我要点一份外卖。Great. You know, this reminds me of a meme I've seen. 就是讲很多社恐人啊。都特别害怕打电话嘛？ Uh, 那打电话订餐之前呢，要排练半个小时，就是 Hello, I'm calling from room two five two, and I'd like to order a sandwich. 结果电话一通 ，Hello, I'm sandwich. <laughs> God have mercy on us, introverts. <laughs> okay, 那除了我们刚刚讲到的这种 delivery， 还有一种情况啊，是人已经在店里了，但是呢，不在店里吃，而是要带走。这种情况我们可以怎么说呢？ When we are ordering food, if we want to take it with us and eat it somewhere else. We can use the word "take away." This means that we will be eating the food outside the restaurant or somewhere else. 对，在英式英语当中啊，我们用这个词儿 "take away"， 而在美式英语当中呢，我们用这个词儿 "take out." They both mean food that you buy from a shop or restaurant and eat somewhere else, or prepared food that is intended to be eaten off the premises. 所以这两个表达呢，都是正确的，用来表示打包带走。嗯、mm, ，For example, I got some Chinese food take away for dinner. 我打包了一些中国菜当晚餐。Or I'm going to bring Bring some takeout menus back home. 我要拿一些外送传单回家。Yeah. Also, if you want to eat outside the restaurant, you can ask for packaging or to go. These two expressions are commonly used in both British and American English. 嗯、mm, ，packaging 和 to go 在美式和英式英语里面啊都很常见。Yes. Okay. These are some useful expressions. Now let's move on to some menu-related expressions. 来看看一些点餐的时候我们会用到的单词啊，比如说 sides。S I D E S. 哎，乐乐，你能跟我们解释一下这个 size 是什么意思吗 ？OK， 当我们在菜单上看到 size 这个单词时啊，它通常指的是配菜或者是小菜。嗯，这些小菜呢，通常是主菜的搭配啊，比方说沙拉呀、蔬菜呀、米饭等等。对，那如果我们点餐的时候想问有没有配菜，就可以说 Does that come with any sides? And there are some other common menu-related expressions that we can use when we are ordering food,、mm. such as appetizers. And entrees. When we see these words on the menu, they usually refer to starters and main courses, respectively. 也就是我们说的开胃菜和主菜 Right. Some common example of appetizers include chicken wings, cheese platter, shrimp cocktail, or bowl of soup. 而这个 entree 一般就是我们说的大菜啊，鸡、猪、牛或者是海鲜啦，反正就是一顿饭里面那个硬菜。嗯，对。不过大家要注意啊，用 entree 来表示主菜，一般都是在美式英语中。嗯，在法语中呢，它和 appetizer 是一样的，都表示前菜。嗯，那如果我们在餐厅吃饭的时候有新人
人加入，或者是餐具掉地上了需要加餐具，应该怎么说呢 ？If you need utensils, you can say, "Can I have some utensils, please?" 对，这里的 utensil, u t e n s i l 就表示器皿、用具。注意单词开头的字母 u 啊，不读 u， 它发 u 这个音。另外，我还有一个非常非常重要的问题啊，肯定也是很多同学想问的。我们吃完饭如果要开发票，哎，应该怎么说呢<笑> ？That's a good question. You can say, "I need a receipt." Please, right? We're talking about receipts, receipts, receipts. All can be used to express this word. Receipt, R E C E I P T. This word, you need to pay attention to its spelling. The middle letter E I is a E sound. Some students will write it as I E. That's wrong. Please pay attention. Hmm. Besides these, are there any other things we need to know when we order at the restaurant? Well, I don't know if you have noticed when you go to a restaurant abroad. Most of the time, the waiter or waitress would check with you to make sure that you have enough money. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to know if you have any allergies or dietary restrictions. Because they want to Gluten-free diets and low-carbohydrate diets. 嗯，就像我们说的素食啊，不含麸质饮食，还有现在很流行的低碳饮食，都属于这个范畴。另外，在这里也叮嘱一下大家 ，if you have a food allergy or other dietary restrictions, be sure to tell the waiter when you order. Yeah, that's very important. Speaking of which, Lily, do you have any other important tips for our listeners when they order food from a restaurant? Well, I think the most important thing is to be polite and smile so that the waiter will be more willing to communicate with you and provide you with help. 无论什么时候啊，也不管是在国内还是国外啊，最重要的就是保持礼貌。这样服务员会更愿意跟你交流和帮助你的。Yeah, well, that sure is a very helpful tip and a very good ending for today's podcast. 那关于点菜的表达，我们今天就聊到这里了。大家关于这个话题还有什么想说的，都可以在评论区给我们留言哦。Okay, that's all we have for today. And this is Lily. And this is Blair. See you next time. Bye. 如果你喜欢这期节目，请点赞加订阅，这样就可以反复观看啦。同时，本节课的笔记也给大家准备好了，在视频简介或评论区即可领取哦。This podcast is from Morning English， 学口语就来早安英文。